Time 600 metres out though, and over on the outside, Jester Tune nursed in front. She's off the fence, joined now by Mighty Mac going through, getting on equal terms. And Scenic Blast pulled off the heels of the hot pot to go up three wide. China Mora four deep commencing the run around the corner. They're followed by Roman Time and then Baleen Magic straightening up though. And Scenic Blast with the blaze comes at Jester Tune who fights on the inside, Mighty Mac, and then Roman Time who's starting to run on Scenic Blast at the 150, the leader from Jester tune fighting back and here comes Roman time Roman time comes at scenic blast grabs him and Roman time has won the Caracatta from scenic blast and jester tune He's being trailed by the filly Jester Tune. On the inside next is famous Roman McFarzy and dropping out to last is Bodgy Business. By the 500 they come and it's the Karakata Plate winner Roman Time who leads the way in the size. He's three quarters of a length clear from Red Ron Sun. Moisture third on the fence and Pike's getting busy on Jester Tune. Then two lengths famous Roman McFarzy and Bodgy Business but it's Roman Time who straightens for home. Left the fence and allows Moisture to go through to Two lengths, Red Ron Sun and Pike's hard at work on Jester Tune. On the outside, she's coming quickly. Roman Time, though, still in front. Jester Tune trying to mow him down. It's Roman Time clear of Jester Tune laying in, and Roman Time has completed the Karakata size double. Being heeled forward, one and a half further off those special Kaseki leaving the six behind them. On the fence next is Persian play with Dan the Fox back last of all. Coming up to the home turn, 450 to go. Pike sitting there as quiet as a church mouse on the filly. Dana Rip doing it well. Three quarters to a length phenomenons being shaken up by Nucky when they turn the corner. Two lengths Cochinella. Further back behind them, Dan the Fox. He still hasn't moved on Dana Rip. Down to the 200. Now he does. Gives her about, gives her an inch of rain and she'd move three quickly on Phenomenons, then Cochinella this is all over and she's a class act, Dana Rip is pulling away made them look second rate, one ease down by three and a quarter lengths on Phenomenons Cochinella third I'd say just smile, on the inside behind them Timely Queen, then a half length Rosa Delago, one issue babe most secretive, a length and a half away then Brava Fortune passing the 450 from Pure Fire and last is Prada Blue, around the corner though, and Dana Rip the first to spot the judge, given a little more leather the move to in front. Here comes Just Marika trying to pull out off the fence. Then three lengths away behind them. Timely Queen Rosa Delago behind them. Anishi Bay but now Pike really hits the go button on Dana Rip and she's away. She's home. Dana Rip will win easily. Down the outside. Timely Queen running on well from Ishi Bay and Just Marika. Glenn's girl is running third. Behind those, we've got Ravinia fourth. Uh, back on the inside to see the distance from Paris Batard is on the heels there of Ravinia. A couple to Miss Velvet and last of all was Sleepwork before the bend. Uh, Brocky's ace going strongly the 450 by three quarters on Glenn's ace. Ravinia is taken the three and four deep before the bend. Uh, then Timeless Star who's back on the inside behind them. See the distance. Paris Batard to the outside. Uh, Miss Velvet and then Sleepwork halfway up the straight. Brocky's ace in front of Glenn's girl. Ravinia. Here comes Paris Batard and, and uh, getting up on the inside. Timeless Star. It's Brocky's ace still in front, but Paris Batard reached another gear. She raced up to Brocky's ace. Ravinia couldn't go with it. And Paris Batard races away to win five on the trotter. Paris Batard, he's down well together in front by Camilleri. Leads three quarters to a length. Paris Batard just being healed along by McGruddy. A length away then. Vodka Lime Translate is next in fourth place. One and a half, Miss Velvet. Whiting's going to need to produce some magic here on Canny Jack. He's now into the open from back in the field. As they straighten, the Roya Gold leads at the 200. Paris Batard about to level up with him. A length and a half to translate. Here comes Kenny Jack with his run. Paris Batard, Arroyo Gold together in a tooth and nail battle. Kenny Jack runs to third, but it's the filly. Paris Batard exacts revenge in the size produce. Paris Batard first, Arroyo Gold second, and Kenny Jack. Volts posted four deep in running. A length and a half away behind them, settling down. Ticket time. On the fence, quiz time. One and a half, B Lear, followed by Shivano, and we gotta go. Brings up the tail, but Azuri Sky brings them to the turn in the Magic Millions. At the 450, about a neck on Avarose. Going up now on the outside is La Cedar, and Jester Tune's got a dream run between horses, grabbing them from Baltic Sea. Secret Vault further back, and Mighty Mac looking for the way clear. Jester Tune reached the lead from La Cedar. A length and a half away behind the Mavaros, but Jester Tunes pinched a big break. It's a race winning break, and the Rory's Jester filly is coming away. She's going to absolutely blitz them in the Magic Millions by four lengths. Mighty Mac and the very way would be there. Diving up behind them, Shivano. Followed home then by Quiz Time. 
City of Soul broke clear of nearly two lengths the break on Moisture. Z Dream pocketed third on her inside, then Jester Tune. She's been given the run of the race, the favourite. She's back fourth behind them and trailing up Moisture nearing the bend. On the fence, Bell Sarizzo, three quarters of a length away. Trim connection from I'm Gifted. Well back then came Versace, Blazing Noel and Forget Lark, your last, but City of Soul making all the running. It's City of Soul down to the 250 now. Jester Tune closes in quickly and in one bound she put pay to her. Jester Tune sprints away. I'm gifted moisture battling out the miners, but it's all Jester Tune. She's in no danger, and she is class with a capital C, and she's unbeaten now. Jester Tune races away, wins the gym crack from either last is 10 aces. They turn the corner. Moonlight Drive tackled immediately by Liquidation. Most secretive. Going up near the inside is Grand Nirvana. Had to balk steady off the heels, but here he comes. He's bursting through. Further back, Hermosa Corona, but Grand Nirvana sprints away. Grand Nirvana, too smart. Wins brilliantly in the supremacy first up. Hawkeye Mort, way out there in the middle of the course. Could have got you. We'll keep you posted. Hold on to your tickets. Back in the field then came London. Key to money and Broadway Bell last of all. So a bit of a sensation here in the Bolton. Sporting fellas, the leader from Revolution and Noble Steed in third place. They're being followed by La Fours of the Grey. Uh, going up next of all is Idyllic Prince as they set sail for home. The rideless horse coming right down the middle, Escadere being followed by Roman Time. Black in Time behind those. Mega Tick starting to wind up. So's Grand Nirvana as well. He's picking up ground. Idyllic Prince had hit the lead. Idyllic Prince in front. Now Roman Time. Black in Time and Grand Nirvana down the outside. Grand Nirvana has swept up. Hits the lead from Idyllic Prince and Grand Nirvana has won it. Grand Nirvana has captain who's over on the inside some of these starting to start their runs from the back there goes storm blitz with dream baby cash then came my empire as they come towards the corner now inside the final 400 and it's mr diagnosis in front leads by a length and a half friars touch can get the run off his back now if he's good enough on the outside storm blitz then came flight captain through on the inside Dianal down the outside and gold town from a long way back but mr diagnosis kicked away from them he opened up two and a half length down the outside, Gold Town Storm Blitz is battling on with Friar's Touch, but Mr. Diagnosis in no danger, and he romps home, wins by two lengths on Gold Town. Third is Storm Blitz, fourth in. Away on the inside is pretentious, looking for room. Christabel is in the middle, and Somali's gone up on the outside with Native Country. Also starting to find a bit of space. Siesta Bay G ran wide, and Kalima Coast got shuttered via the Cape when they turned for home. Further back, Summer Wave starting to thread its way through with Lake Ashinoko. It's Spirit Lady in front of the 250. Here comes Siesta Bay, though. It's Siesta Bay, which Bullock his way into the open, coming with a great run on the outside. He hit the front. It's over the Lindsay Road. Rosenthal, Siesta Bay pulling away from Spirit Lady and then Cat in a hat, but it's all Siesta Bay. Siesta Bay won it for my... Meter mark. Suave Lady's taken up the running from Lady Gobello, and Nucky makes his move with Tantra Dancer. She's about to move up three deep when they approach the corner. Two to Cyclone Ruby. Jugali look to be gone. Behind the Mescala, followed by Tradora. It's turned for home. Suave Lady kick from Lady Gobello. Tantra Dancer, she is now flat to the floorboards. Lady Gobello hit the lead, though, from Suave Lady of the 200. From Tantra Dancer battling. It's Lady Gobello surging to the front from Tantra Dancer. Suave Lady, Lady Go Bello is clear, and the Belmont Oaks is over, and here is another quality winner for the Kersley Stable. Lady Go Bello breezed home in the Oaks by three or four lengths on Tantra Dancer. Oil Sonata, then came a Bonnie drop and back near last is Kim Lisa on the corner at the 450 and Lady Go Bello and dedicated Miss headed off Island Demtris. They turn the corner and Lady Go Bello races to the front now two lengths to dedicated Miss under the whip they're about two in front of Latte followed further back by Star Tigo but this mare's given them the slip. He gives her a dig, Lady Go Bello at the 200 she's three in front from Latte Avenida Madero followed further back then by Tribal Secret but this has turned into a one act affair. Lady Go Bello racing away and she scores a brilliant win in the starstruck. Lady Gabello too good for tribal secret getting second.